So why don't you use the regular army? What do you need us for? Because some damn fool accused you of being the best. Dylan! You son of a bitch! Listen to me very carefully. <laughs> What's the matter? Huh? Had enough? Make it easy on yourself, Dutch. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I did know when the quid. Hey guys, this is Silver Pro. We are back with another video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you are new to this channel. Hopefully, I uh, reckon you guys can hear my voice and the mic close enough to me. Uh, what I might do is I might actually turn that up a tiny bit. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a, uh, a pretty big, well, for me it's big anyway, big silver, silver unboxing. It's not actually a silver unboxing, right? I thought it was gonna, thought the silver was going to come in a box, but it actually come in a bag. And it looks like it's got so much bubble wrap on it that it'll uh, withstand a nuclear bomb. So um, here we are, guys. This is a uh, bulk bullion purchase that I got. Uh, about four thousand dollars. Now, as I said before, I had to sell some of my silver off. So I had to pay some medical bills and some other bills, right? Uh, and people said to me, "Well, why didn't you uh, just, you know, dig into your savings and that?" And then I guess the, the short answer is, guys, why I didn't dig into my savings is because, uh, you know, I get interest on that savings. So as soon as I touch it, then I lose interest for a month, right? And I know the interest isn't the interest isn't a ton, but I just didn't want to touch it, right? Um, but anyway, guys, if you are new to this channel, please leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And I appreciate all the support of my existing subscribers. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, yeah, bulk bullion purchase, man. So the reason why I like bulk bullion, bullion they're a little bit of a, I think, I think they're a bit of a smaller company, right? But I always get my deliveries fast with bulk bullion, right? Um, and as you guys know, I'm in Perth. And Perth, it usually takes the longest to get anything here, you know? You freaking, you could, you could, they could still have, uh, I think they have platinum posts, like one day postage at, at one stage. And you'd still get your fucking item three days later, you know? So, <laughs> so that's how good, uh, that's how good Perth is for deliveries, right? Um, but anyway, guys, we are gonna just. I'm just gonna open this. I might cut it open off off the camera. Otherwise, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, guys, I appreciate all the support. I'm gonna try to do this fast. But I've got about three three different bars in here, guys. Well, I should have three different bars. Um, mainly just the SAG. But, I'm gonna open it up. Oh my god, man. Oh shit. Yeah, they really packed this well. Okay. There <laughs> we go. It's another wrap of bubble wrap, so. Let me just cut this open, guys. And, uh, yeah, I got talking to Jacob from Bulk Bullion. Seems like a really nice guy. Pretty, uh, pretty clued in on the silver game, you know? Just talking to him about like what it took to start his bullion business and stuff, and uh, yeah, pretty nice guy. Help me out here. So, uh, all right. So as you can see, guys, I did. He did ask me if I wanted him to chuck a few bags in. Says, so "Oh, nice. Oh, cool. I thought he was only chucking in three bags. He's just chucked in a stack. Very nice. Cool." You know the thing is, I've noticed too. I've noticed the bo the bulk bullion bags seem like they're better quality, man. And I thought they'd all be the same, but with some of the other bullion dealers, these drawstrings just break or they fall off. But these, I haven't had a problem with bulk bullion bags for some reason. Granted, they probably come from the same place, right, or wherever they're getting them from. But um, oh my god, dude, look at this. You're gonna take me forever to get this thing out. Um, all right, let's open up this small bag first. So we can just get something on the table. 
so you guys don't fall asleep. All right, so pretty sure I know what these are. These are going to be the small XAG silver bars. Oh man, they look cool. Look at that. They look nice, man. And you guys know why I like the one ounce bars, right? Or small, small bars, right? Fractional bars and stuff. Is because. Oh god. All right, let's take this glove off. Is because when the silver price rises, right? So silver goes through the roof. Smaller denominations are a lot easier to get rid of, right? You know, if things go really through the roof, just pull all these out on here. Why not? The price and all that goes through the roof, guys. Uh, you know, smaller bars are going to be easier to liquidate. Well, that's my that's my theory anyway, right? Let's see if we can zoom in on there. Actually, I won't touch this camera. I won't touch this camera too much because bloody yeah, uh, it'll fall over. <laughs> I've got a million attachments uh, attached to this phone, guys. But I'm just gonna, you know what? Let's just grab a few. Let's have a few. Show you guys close up. These are beautiful, man. I like these. These are nice, dude. I mean, there's also the the. I think it's the Huntington ones as well. But I feel like the XAG just look better, right? They just look nicer, you know? I guess because there's more riding and stuff, you know? XAG, baby. And these are the one ounce. I'm just going to have a look at the back. So as you guys know, I only had about 50 ounces of silver to my name, right? Uh, so, and I kept thinking every night, I was like, shit, is the silver price going to go up anytime soon and I'm going to get caught out, you know? I'm going to get caught out and not have enough silver. So... Anyway, we'll put those aside. Beautiful. I'm, I, I, I think they've run out of these, but I want to get more of those, man. Um, okay. Let's open up the next. I know this is the final one. I think this has got everything else in it. So, yeah, guys, I had to buy a lot of silver. I had to get back into the game, man, because I thought, oh, I'd get caught out. I get caught out and still goes through the roof, which, you know, it might not go through the roof for another few years, right? But I just kept thinking, you know, I was just, I was worried. Okay, I think I know what these are. Just didn't want to get caught out, you know? I mean, how good would I be being the silver pro, an actual silver YouTuber? And I get caught out. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. <laughs> These are nice. Very nice. A little indent in the back there, but that's all right. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. What's that? And see, guys, if you have little marks on your silver bars too, you can just use a little bit of toothpaste, and usually that shines them up. So, oh man, these are nice. These are better than the Ainsley ones, I think. I think I like these more than the Ainsley bars. And the Ainsley bars are really nice. I just, I, I think it's just that XAG on the bar, man. Beautiful. And there. I'm probably going to store half of the, half of this set of mint. I don't like storing all my stuff at home, guys. So, or at my mate's house. I've got to like separate things. I don't keep a lot of silver at home, but sometimes I like to keep a few bars just to check it out. Just to have a look now and again. All right. Now the last one. Shit, man. I'm wishing I would have bought more of those cast bars now. They're bloody nice, those little 10 ounce cast bars. All right. Now let's. I think I'm definitely going to get some more of those XAG cast bars. They are nice. All right. Now you've seen this one before, guys. Let's. Yeah, my bedroom's getting even more messier now. All right. So we got more of the XAG 
10 ounce minted bars. Bam. We got five of these suckers. Just, we just, I just, I had to make sure, guys. I was panicking, you know? I was just like, shit. Is the silver price going to go up when I got no bloody silver? How can I call myself the silver pro if that happens, eh? Beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Brilliant. Let's see if we look at the, let's look at a comparison here. Let's just put all three of them here. Thank you so much to Jacob at Bulk Bullion, man. Thank you so much. You did a good job of picking out some nice bars. I said to him, I said, man, can you get me some bars with that? Milk spots and many marks, and of course you can't avoid you can't avoid all marks uh, on silver cast bars, right? It's on the little cast ones and the ten ounce cast. There's always going to be bumps and dents, but uh, you know, thank you so much, Jacob, for looking after us, mate. Beautiful. And like I said, guys, I I, I do a lot of my shopping at Bolt Bullion because you just get your stuff fast, man, and. I'm going to make a video on that also about how to be a competitive or really good bullion dealer, right? I'm going to have a lot of points. I'm not a bullion dealer, but it's how I would run things if I was a bullion dealer, right? So that's just what I assume to be uh, good habits, right? But uh, yeah, that is my XAG stack, guys. I think it was 4,200 or something like that. I had to be prepared, man. And look, do you guys remember when I first started this channel and I was like, I'm not a bar guy, right? I was never a bar guy. I hated freaking bars. But now, guys, I, uh, I'm i mainly a bar guy, man, because the, the coins, like the premiums on the coins are so high now, you know? They're, uh, they're going over the moon. And um, so, you know, I mean, I guess I was a coin guy years ago because I used to flip a little bit of silver, right? Um, but now I'm more of a just stack, 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 and, uh, and he's a bloke, I'll tell you what, man, beautiful, so, so, silver is so addictive, guys, isn't it, like, you know, like, if I told, if I showed this to my friends who weren't silver stackers, right, and I said, this was worth $4,000, they would just go, you crazy, so what are you doing, you're spending $4,000 on some silver, like, they just, a lot of people just don't understand, they just don't get it. They don't get that this is like a hedge against inflation, right? This is a, an investment. This, this could save you in the long run. They just don't see it, man. And I try to convince a lot of people. I'm like, just put your eggs in different baskets, right? Don't put all your eggs in the same basket. I try to convince them that just put a little bit into, into silver. Put a little bit into gold. But they just don't see it, man. So for all you guys who are smart enough to see it on this channel... Um, this is going to be our saving grace one day, man. This is going to be our saving grace one day. And the reason why silver and gold is so good to invest is because it's stable, right? It's not like Bitcoin. It's not like freaking shares where one minute they can be up and the next minute they're just gone, you know? So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. And I hope for anyone who is new to silver, if you haven't started investing yet, I hope you see the value in this stuff, man. And I hope the shine of this silver gets you addicted, okay? But uh, thank you, Jacob, from Bulk Bullion. I always shop with these guys, man. Very good mob. Professional. Fast delivery, right? That's the main thing. Some bullion dealers, I buy silver and I'm waiting a week for my bullion to get here, you know? So, um, and these guys had the express post option. But yeah, guys, Bulk Bullion. Nice little company. Got some good bars, you know. I've had one bullion dealer where I bought some bars from that milking all over it. Nothing here, man. Absolutely nothing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay safe. And uh, the Silver Pro loves you all. Cheers.